Hello guys, welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. We have another Quentin Tarantino banger today. We're going to be watching Django Unchained and I am thrilled to see what he's going to do with this project. Every single film that we've seen from Quentin Tarantino, if you recall on the Inglorious Bastards commentary, I was <laughs> saying how each and every single one of these films have been getting progressively more and more Tarantino. <laughs> and that's great. You know, he has a very specific style and I love to see an artist evolve and get confident enough to just do his thing. And every time he does it, he does it well. Great comedic timing, great tension, man. He, this is a guy that just knows how to make scenes linger and make you feel mm -hmm. uncomfortable in the best way possible. And I cannot wait to see what he's going to do here. Yeah. One of the things that is always palpable in Quentin Tarantino movies, which you don't find in every movie that is out there is just the pure love and adoration for film. Like mm -hmm. it just, it just radiates off of every single scene, the way the lines are performed, the way the dialogue is written. It's always so quippy, so fast paced and just very, very original which is always a blast for us. I also know that we're getting Christoph Waltz back oh. for this one. So not to play favorites here, Jamie Foxx, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kerry Washington, they're all phenomenal, but I cannot wait to see what Christoph Waltz is going to do. I wonder if he's the villain in this one too. He did such an excellent job with that role in Inglorious Pastors. I mean, he essentially off rip became one of the you know favorites in that film. His performance, yeah. the way that he handled the room, he just had full control over every <laughs> single scene. And as a performer, you know, it's really hard to do that especially acting with so many people. It's not like it was a solo, you know, right, scenes right. where he had monologues and he was able yeah. to stay in the moment and just be the character. And he was so terrifying yet so charismatic. <laughs> Man, I love that guy. I cannot wait to see what he does because from what we've seen, he's a super talented guy. So yeah, we got a stack cast. We got Quentin Tarantino, Robert Richardson. You know, this is going to be a <laughs> blast, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. And also a huge shout out to Aaron Rivera. Thank you so much for becoming a producer tonight. And Motor Dork for being part of our Patreon community. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. It truly means a lot to us. We hope that you guys enjoy and we'll catch you after the movie every good quentin tarantino film started with some music christoph yes leonardo dicaprio man what a what a freaking cast honestly it's an amazing cast Oh. oh my god, the man, the myth, the legend. Somewhere in Texas. Oh my god, they must be freezing. I can't imagine, man, and they're barefoot. State your business or prepare to get winged. I'm simply a fellow weary traveler. Whoa. <laughs> is he though? <laughs> I'm Dr. King Schultz. This is my horse, Fritz. Hello, Fritz. Is there one amongst you who was formerly a resident of the Karukan Plantation? I'm from the Karukan Plantation. Oh. Who said that? Oh, God. He just steals every scene he's in. He really does. Already. <laughs> What's your name? Django. Then you're exactly the one I'm looking for. <sighs> that must be terrifying. Who are they? Big John. Ellis. Sometimes they call him. Little Raj, there was overseas at the Karukan Plantation. Not anymore. Not anymore? If you were to see any of these three gentlemen again, would you recognize them? Hey, stop talking to him like that. Like what? Like that. My good man. Excuse me? Like what? Or are you pointing your weapon at me with lethal intention? Oh, he seems like he's yeah. ready to use it. Yeah, that's lethal <laughs> intention for sure. Very well. Oh, he was fast with it. Damn, fast hands. That was great. Quick draw. Those guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how they were speaking to him. Yeah. But the whole talking to them in a certain way. You shot Roscoe! Well. And you killed me! Well. <laughs> I only shot your brother once he threatened to shoot me. And I do believe I have five witnesses who can attest to that fact. <laughs> if you could keep your caterwauling down to a minimum, I'd like to finish my line of inquiry with young... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> just you just stay there. Put them back in their place. If you were to see the little brothers again, you could recognize them. Yeah. Mrs. Speck, how much for young Django here? Does he still want to conduct business or is he, uh, <laughs> is he done? Could you hold this for a moment? 
<laughs> oh my yeah. god. Also, if I were you, I'd take that winter coat the dear departed speck left behind. Oh man. Don't you touch my brother's coat. You know what? I'll take your coat instead. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. Thank you. He just left a weapon with that other guy. Yes. Build a sail. <laughs> so bizarre. <laughs> He's so wonderfully offbeat. Bury the two of them deep and then make your way to a more enlightened area of this country. Wow. The North Star is that one. <laughs> <laughs> He essentially just freed them. Yeah. Gave them a weapon. They've got some cash because they're not going to leave that cash behind. Mm -hmm. Wow. Probably like, how the <laughs> hell did we get this lucky? Fellas, <laughs> let's talk about this. Oh, now you want to talk. Okay. Yeah. I bet you do. <laughs> reasonable in a situation like this. Yeah. This is reasonable, man. Right. No, no please. Yikes! Wow, what a splatter. Wow. All of them are free. Godspeed to the men. Hopefully they can stay out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> the <That> little tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying so hard not to focus on it. It's just so funny. So distracting. <laughs> Everybody will know you for sure are a dentist. Yes. Yeah, it must be such an alien concept for them to see this. Oh, they are not going to like him one bit, are they? I mean, looks like he's going against the status quo, so no, they're not going to like him at all. What's everybody staring at? They ain't never seen no, no horse before. I'm loving his character already. Me too. That is awesome. Good morning, innkeeper. We won't be open for another hour. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get that out of here. Wow, he just ran away. Now we must act as our own bartender. Oh, you'll probably do a better pour anyway. Sit down, my boy. He must be so confused. Yeah. Probably waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, what's the what's the catch here? What kind of dentist are you? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't practiced dentistry in five years. Oh, wow. Ooh. So what have you been up to, man? But these days, I practice a new profession. Bounty hunter. Oh. oh. It's a bounty hunter. Get some beer ASMR. Do you know what a bounty hunter is? Well, a bounty hunter deals in corpses. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Those beers look nice. Yeah. Post. <laughs> it's like a reward. You kill people and they give you a reward. Yep, essentially. Better they are, bigger the reward. Nice. Wow. Which brings me to you. I need your help. If you're not in a position to refuse, all the better. Ah, uh, I see. So for the time being, I'm going to make this slavery malarkey work to my benefit. Having said that, I feel guilty. <laughs> okay, good to know. You feel bad about this whole ordeal. I'd like the two of us to enter into an agreement. All right. I'm looking for the Brittle Brothers. However, at this endeavor, I'm, I'm at a slight disadvantage in so far as I don't know what they look like. Mm. I see. So here's my agreement. You travel with me until we find them. Where are we going? I don't know where. That means we visit every plantation in Catlinburg. <gasps> Whoa. You point them out. And I kill them. You do that. I agree to give you your freedom. $75. That is a that is a pretty good deal for him if he can get his yeah. freedom. Okay, boys. Fun's over. Come on out. Let him enjoy their beer, man. <laughs> All right, folks. Calm down. It's like a town event. Everyone is so aghast about this. It's just ridiculous. Those were the times. Yeah. Why y'all want to come into my town and start trouble? Trouble? Scare all these nice people? You ain't got nothing better to do than show your... Oh! Holy shit! Ah. 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 
Was that like a gadget? I think so, right? <gasps> there goes your sheriff. I mean, does anybody else want to say anything about this? Now you can get the Martian. Oh, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> he just turned him into his errand boy. That's hilarious. He did say, get me the marshal, <laughs> not the sheriff. <laughs> oh, wow. I watch six men, six rifles behind me. All right, boy. All right, boy. All the barrels aimed at that front door. Oh, they're going to surround him. Goddamn street. You in the saloon? <gasps> oh, shit. You got a hundred rifles aimed at every way out of that building. You got one chance to get out of this alive. How the hell are you going to get out of this one? Is this the marshal I have the pleasure of addressing? <laughs> yes, it is. This is U.S. Marshal Gil Tatum. Nothing to bomb, Marshal. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Off of all weapons, I am ready to step outside with my hands raised above my head. What is he up to? I shan't be shot down in the street. You mean like you did our sheriff? Shot him down like a dog in the street. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do what I did, okay? Right, be better than me. Ain't nobody gonna cheat the hangman in my town. Fair enough, Marshal. Here we come. They're a little tense out there. So yes. make any quick movements and let me do the talking. Yes, he's handled the situation thus far. Let's trust him. <laughs> Poor Jacko, he's just like, what is going on? He is killing it already, man. It's amazing. Marshal Tatum, may I address you and your deputies and apparently the entire town of Daughtry? <laughs> <laughs> the man lying dead in the dirt, who went by the name of Bill Sharp, is actually a wanted outlaw by the name of Willard Peck. Oh! $200. Now that's $200 dead or alive. That was his bounty. I'm aware this is probably disconcerting news, but I'm willing to wager this man was elected sheriff sometime in the past two years. Damn. This is a warrant made out by circuit court judge. He'll back up who I am and who your dear departed sheriff was. Yeah, he's got you. Fair enough. Fair and square. In other words, Marshal, you owe me $200. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, now they got money for the road. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like he's got things under control. Wow. Great back and forth, man. He's just so good. <sighs> Dude, the banter. Also, I'm loving their chemistry already. That scene at the <laughs> bar at the table, both of their intensity, the way they played off each other was so cool. So he's looking for these guys. I guess it's not one mm -hmm. of those wanted posters where you had the drawing in the description. Right. You'll be a free man. The horse, $75 in your back pocket. What's your plan after that? Find my wife. Damn. Oh, man. I had no idea you were a married man. It's got a gal somewhere out there. Got sand, Django. I got no use for with sand. I want you to burn the runaway eye right here in his cheek. And the girl, too. Oh, damn. You take him to the Greenville auction and sell him. Both of them. Separately. Piece of shit. And this one, you will sell him cheap. In Greenville. That's how they got split. Mm hmm What is her name? Brunhilde. Brunhilde? Were her owners German? She wasn't born on the Krukan plantation. She was raised by a German mistress. By Shaz. She speaks mm. German too. Mm. When she was little, her mistress taught her, so she had somebody to speak German with. Wow. Oh wow, so she knows German. That's awesome. Well, hopefully they can find her. I hope so. But they already have to go through so many plantations to get to. Yeah, there's already so much work they have to do. When we gain access to these plantations, we'll be putting on an act. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll be playing a character. What a great shot, man. It's beautiful. You see his reflection right there? Robert Richardson, man. But during the act, you can never break character. Do you understand? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Don't break character. 
And what is that character? And your character is that of the valet. The valet. You may choose your character's costume. He's gonna let me pick up my own clothes. Yeah, but of course. You get your own fit, man. Let's do it. He gets a little makeover. Hey. <laughs> Swag. <laughs> That's a great look. <laughs> Damn, they really made this feel like the 1800s. They really Everything did. from the landscapes to the buildings used. It's against the law for n to ride horses in this territory. He's a free man. Not around my My good sir. Perhaps we got off on the wrong boot. Yeah, we can say that. You and your Jimmy rode from Texas to Tennessee to buy one of my No appointment, no nothing. Oh, I'm afraid so. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I don't like you or your fancy pants. And I wouldn't sell you a Tinker's Dam. Now, what you got to say about that? Mr. Bennett. <laughs> you are the businessman I've been led to believe you to be. I have 5,000 things I might say that could change your mind. Stroke his ego. Well, come on inside and get yourself something cool to drink. Huh. Mm -hmm. He is great with people. He has a way with words. Django is a free man. He cannot be treated like a slave. He, uh, within the bounds of good taste, he must be treated as an extension of myself. Nice. Mm -hmm. You can't treat him like any of the other around here because he ain't like any of the other around here. You got it? Treat him like white folks? No. That's not what I said. <laughs> then I don't know what you want, big daddy. He's having a rough time explaining. <laughs> that house we just left from is the big house. Big daddy call it that because it's big. It's got a way to, of words to name things. Yes. What you do for your master? Didn't you hear him tell you I ain't no slaves? So you really free? Yes, I was free. You mean you want to dress like that? <laughs> <laughs> you chose that? I'm looking for three white men. The name is Brittle. You know him? Brittle. John Brittle, Ellis Brittle, Roger Brittle. They would have come to the plantation this past year. You mean the Shafers? Ooh. Okay. Could you point one of them out to me? Well, one's over in that field. The Shafers. <laughs> Is that one of them? We're about to find out. Oh, man, Karuka ain't gonna appreciate this. Now, she, she, ain't, gonna be worth no, she ain't gonna be worth the damn thing. Now, now your Bible say. Oh, man. This guy has been through hell. No matter, Garuka ain't gonna appreciate this. She, she, uh, she's a house slave. She a house slave. She can't be <sighs> That feeling of not having any sort of control and just seeing how they hurt your loved one must be a thing out of nightmares. I like the way you bag, boy. <laughs> you piece of shit. Oh, fuck this guy. Yep. That's one of them. Punishing little Jody for breaking eggs. They whipping little Jody? Point me in that direction. You go to that tree and keep going that away. Oh dear, is he gonna try to stop them? He's a free man now. <laughs> the the Lord said the fear of you, <sighs> the dread of ye, shall be on every beast of the earth. <laughs> wow, the irony. Reciting. Yeah. Oh, he needs to. Man. Deal them some proper justice. I'm just afraid for him getting yeah. in trouble because it's just the two of them. Okay, she ready! It'd be very, very difficult to get out of it if ever everyone gets alerted. The thing is, they know exactly who to look for. Yeah. A free black man. They'll know exactly. <laughs> <On a horse? laughs> yeah. John Brittle! Oh, <laughs> Such a superhero moment almost. Look at him. You remember me? Oh! <laughs> that thing is so cool. It comes out of there. The yeah, wrist. it's like the SS Assassin's Creed thing, right? Almost. Yeah, the hidden gun. I like the way you die, boy. Oh, yes. Satisfaction. I like the way you die, oh, boy. <laughs> yep. Good thing he's Butterfingers. Oh, oh, yeah. Damn. Well, if you can give it, you gotta learn how to take it, right? Yeah. That's how it works, right? Oh, man. 
How is he gonna handle this? Yeah, that was my question. <laughs> that's Big John. That's Little Raj. Where's Ellis? He's the one hot telling it across that field right now. You sure that's him? Yeah. No <laughs> way. He's gonna sharpshoot? Sure, that's Ellis Brutal. Damn, Ooh. he was just waiting. Bullseye on a moving Damn. target at that distance? <laughs> this guy's a. Hell of a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kind of dentist is this guy? Positive he did. <laughs> what a bounty hunter, man. Oh, shit, guys. Django! Everybody calm down. We mean no one else any harm. <laughs> <laughs> no one else. For the arrest and capture, dead or alive, of John Brittle, Roger Brittle, and Ellis. <laughs> you know them by the name of Schaefer, but the butcher's real name was Brittle. These are wanted men. Yep, they were. Mm -hmm. Give me. That's crazy. <laughs> He's just going around killing people. And we're like, well, I can. Satisfied? It's like, you see, I told you. <laughs> just doing my truth. job, man. Load up the bodies as quickly as you can. And let's get out of here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I feel like I can let out a sigh of relief right now. Well, he's got the three of them. Oh, that's where he stashes things. Nice. Who would look for inside that ginormous tooth? I mean, <laughs> it's actually smart. That's very smart because it's so obvious you wouldn't check there. <laughs> That Jonah Hill? Yes, it is actually. <laughs> wow. No. Yo, yeah. Jesus. Holy crap. Please tell me they're prepared for this, please. I don't want to see this. I sure hope so. Yeah, it's a manhunt. I wonder what he stashed in that tooth. We're gonna whoop that lover to death, and I'm gonna personally strip and clip that gaboon myself. Damn, I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. <laughs> I bet. I'm so sorry. Nobody's saying they don't appreciate what Jenny did. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Robert? Can you see? Not too good. I love the messed up humor, man. This is Them so complaining up. about the masks. <laughs> Just... We got a killing over that hill there. We got to make a lesson out of him. Okay, I'm confused. Are the bags on or off? <laughs> <laughs> How about no bags this time? And then the next, next time. time. We do the bags right, and then we go full regalia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is so bizarre. I didn't say no bag. But nobody can see. So. So it'd be nice to see. <laughs> Damn it! I can't see. You can't see. So what? All that matters is can the fucking horse see. That's a raid. <laughs> <laughs> what a disaster! Cut man. back to them wearing the masks. Well, now we know they can't see shit. So. Big guy. What? They tricked you. Well, where are they? Oh, mm. he's in. Oh, that's what he put in the tooth. Yeah, I figured it was the bait. Yeah, you thought you had him easy. Mm hmm. Would you care to? Hmm. Let him do the honors. Teach him the skills of the sharpshooter. He knows how to He's ride a horse. Away. Ooh! Hit the horse. Oh, he got him. And horsey's fine. Oh, the kid's a natural. Oh, he got him straight on. Interesting framing, because with the way it was framed, I thought he got the horse, but no, he got yeah. him good. Very nice. On top of the mountain. Boom Hill's on the mountain? It's a German legend. There's always going to be a mountain in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so <That's> true. <laughs> And he surrounds her in a circle of hellfire. The dragon. 
He scales the mountain because he's not afraid of it. He slays a dragon because he's not afraid of it. And he walks through hellfire because Brunhilde is worth it. Aww. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of message he needs to hear. Yeah. Slave auction town in Mississippi isn't the place for you to visit. Free or not, it's just too dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's going to get caught immediately. How do you like the bounty hunting business? Kill white folks and they pay you for it? <laughs> What's not to like? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do make a great team. You work with me through the winter till the snow melts. I give you a third of my bounties. Damn. I'll take you to Greenville myself, and we'll find where they sent your wife. You got yourself a job and safety. Yeah, and his own money. I'm obliged to help you on your quest to rescue your beloved Brunhilde. It's a deal, man. Gentlemen's dynamic, agreement. dynamic duo. Yeah. Hey. Oh, they're gonna wreak havoc together, I man. <laughs> I can't wait. I am loving this, man. This is so They're good. dynamic. The banter, the dialogue is superb as usual with Tarantino. I love that they built these actual sets. Yes. Real physical places. And as always, great soundtrack choice. You already know that story uh, he told is going to be such foreshadowing. Yes. <laughs> Tarantino always does that. But it's very fitting for him too, right? Yeah, the very. The bravery, all the obstacles he's been through already and what he is going to have to. Yeah. It's winter. It's going to be extremely cold out there. Practicing or next bounty? Robert. Mm -hmm. Seven zero zero zero. Seven thousand. Damn. Seven thousand for him? Dollars for Smitty Bacall. That is a massive bounty. Holy shit. Five hundred dollars for each of his gang Men members. Dude, that's money. Crazy, crazy. Things. That is who Smitty Bacall is. And he didn't mind killing people to do it. By doing what I do, this is what I do. Yeah. Mm. Sell their corpses for cash. You could take him alive, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get serious, man. Right on target. Great shot. You need to keep this city we call handbill. Why? Wow. It's good luck. You always keep the handbill of your first bounty. Hmm. Mm. It always comes in handy. <laughs> Gives you that extra luck you need. Damn, that guy was wanted. 7K Dude. those times. Plus 1,500 for each of his members. God damn, that's money. Hey, <laughs> gotta work on that quick draw, you know? <laughs> practice, practice makes perfect. Yeah, practice on that snowman. <laughs> that's funny. All right, man. Very nice. That's accurate. Oh, <laughs> nice. He's got even. He's doing that little flare and everything. Yeah. It's a bloodbath. Just casually. <sighs> Of the corpses behind them. <laughs> Who the hell are you got there? Bad Chuck Wilson and meaner Bobby Lau and three of their acolytes. They got them all. Jeez. As usual with Tarantino, this is not what I was expecting, but I am absolutely loving it. You think they'll see him as a symbol of hope of what they might yeah. be able to achieve someday? I hope it gives them some ideas. They're gonna try to make her a comfort girl. What's a comfort? Oh, oh my god. Not while I got freedom. Not while I got my gun. No. Yeah. He can actually do something about it now. He knocks on the farmer's door and asks the farmer to buy his horse. And you know what the farmer says? No. Well, I say, f that farm. And I'm still that horse. <laughs> but now you're a horse thief and they hang horse thieves. Right. You'll get in trouble. Mm -hmm. May I offer an alternative plan of action? 
Absolutely. I mean, Let's better. hear it. <laughs> yeah. How much do you know about Mandingo fighting? What? Mandingo, Mandingo fighting. fighting. Bonjour. We're here to see Mr. Calvin Candy. He's got money. Look at that. <sighs> you want me to play a black slaver? Ain't nothing lower than a black slaver. A black slaver is lowered in the head house. <sighs> then play him that way. Give me your black slaver. Just the character, man. <laughs> just the character, just the character. Just gonna have to play him to perfection to get this right. <sighs> One could almost say I was raised to be Calvin's lawyer. One could almost say he was a What did Whoa. you say? <laughs> I said... I think he's just... <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's just joking. <laughs> just keep going. Mr. Candy, he doesn't speak French. Don't speak French to him. It'll embarrass him. Oh, please speak French. I want to see him embarrassed. <laughs> Why do you want to get in the Mandingo business? Damn. He wants okay. business done quick. This seems like a good bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> He's trying so hard to contain himself. I can't imagine the restraint that takes. Oh, it's gonna be bad. There you go. Oh. I see some arm breaking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing nobody is selling is worth buying. I'm curious. What makes you such a Mandingo expert? I'm curious what makes you so curious. <laughs> What did you say, boy? Calm down, Butch. <laughs> yeah. No offense given. He's not used to people talking to him like that. Mm -hmm. I was under the impression when you granted me an audience, it would be to discuss business. Oh, we weren't talking business yet. We were discussing my curiosity. Well, we're trying okay. to get business done, man. Right. For a truly talented specimen? Well, the right. How much would you say, Django? $12,000. 12K. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Oh, that's where that meme is from? <laughs> bright day, huh, bright boy? Sun is up. Shining on all of us. I don't know, man. I, I sure hope this goes the way it's planned. Knowing Tarantino, it won't. <laughs> the name of the game is keep up, not catch up. Oh, please show them for the love of Christ. His patience. <laughs> yeah. Patience of a saint, I have to say. Oh! oh. oh. Oh, now you were one lucky. You better listen to your boss, white boy. Oh, I'm gonna go walking in the moonlight with you. Don't hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm watching any of these white men here. You get the molasses out your ass, you keep your goddamn eyeballs off me. He is a rambunctious sword, ain't he? He's playing that part to perfection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How, like, the way they look at him is like, they're so incredulous. It's like a new being altogether. Yeah. yeah. You might not be able to win, but your ass can fight. It's a stone cipher. Would you please shut these goddamn dogs up? I cannot hear myself think. Yeah, well, if you don't win, that means pretty horrible death, essentially. Yeah. I've got a terrible feeling about this. Yeah. Seeing as you won't pay a penny for this pick in any here, you won't mind me handling this any way I see fit. Oh. Mr. Stone Cipher? Oh, man. That Marsha and the bitches send D'Artagnan to have. Marsha! Marsha! Dude, the dogs? The shit they gotta do just to get this done, man. <laughs> I can't imagine how they both must be feeling right now. You just ain't used to seeing a man ripped apart by dogs, is all. You are used to it. I'm just a little more used to Americans than he is. <laughs> wow. Well, Whenever you're ready. We rode five hours so you could show off your stock. Let's get to it. He's not breaking. Not at all. As of now, if he's an example, I ain't impressed. You also see him testing him, right? Yeah. Like watching him, watching for any tiny little movement. His poker face is impeccable. <laughs> That scene had some nauseating tension there. Dude, it's funny because you, as the movie progresses, you feel how the tension is getting worse and worse. Like right in the pit of your stomach. Yeah. Yeah, they're 
there she is again. She better be there, man. Must be so many conflicting feelings for them too, right? Well, they don't know the full context of what's yeah. going on, right? So that's exactly why. Yeah. Who this on that nag? It's Snowball. I snatch your black ass off that nag down here in the mud so fast, make your head. Steven, 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 Steven. <laughs> off time to a great out, start. <laughs> That spin and not go up in the guest bedroom to get too ready. He's gonna stay in the big <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give him a heart attack. Now. Where is my beautiful sister? <laughs> Jesus there Christ. She is. That's crazy, hey, mother. Brother of the year. <laughs> Did you think before the demonstration you could send around to my room? <laughs> you little kids, <laughs> you. Uh, Hilda in the hot box. What's she doing now? What's she been punished? What's she do? She run off again. Oh, yeah. When did she go? Last night. They, they brought her back this morning. Jesus. Damn, she's... Yeah, she was still trying to leave to escape. How long she been in the box? How long you think she been in there? Hold on, man. Yeah, now's not the time. You take her ass out. Yes, sir. <sighs> Ooh, that was close. That was a close call, man. Dr. Schultz here. Yeah. Well, Christ. hopefully he can confirm. Right, that it actually... Her, right? Get her back over here. Hurry up, girl. Yes, sir. I feel so bad for Django, man. Dude, they just leave her out in a box like that and she was supposed... What do you say? Another 10 more days? Yep. Stay there for another 10 days. Respect to Django for keeping his cool. Well, honestly, yeah. I heard that 10 days, I would have been like, not under my watch. He's <sighs> 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 got an incredibly strong will. <sighs> well, we know it's her. Yeah, that's our confirmation that we needed. Imagine the moment when they actually see each other. I'm worried. Hildy and Django. I don't know if she's going to be able to keep the facade. You know? If she's going to even know. Obviously, she doesn't know what the hell is going on. Right. So. I don't want their whole plan to just crash and burn because of her yeah. not knowing. I mean, she's a fighter, right? Clearly, she's tried to run off before. So hopefully she can. It's a pleasure to meet you, Brunilda. The doctor here speaks German. And I've been informed you do as well. Oh, hopefully they can yeah. speak in German. Good. Hopefully he can put her up to speed. Ein gemeinsamer Freund von uns beiden sind viele Meilen geritten. Yeah. Um sie zu finden, mein Freund. And you have been found. Bitte trinken Sie. <laughs> Hydrate. Wo ist er? Er steht direkt hinter dieser Tür. Oh my god. Versprechen Sie mir, dass Sie nicht schreien werden. Yeah, keep it on the low low. Please. Ich verspreche es. Hey, little troublemaker. <laughs> don't scream. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Oh, oh. You silver tongue devil. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, girl. I don't blame her though. <laughs> probably the last person she expected to see today. Uh, she probably. I don't think she thought she would ever see him again. Samson's your best. You will never sell him. And I can see why. He's a champion. Mm -mm. He's playing him so well. Samson's a champion. The mother too pretty good. <laughs> what oh. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you're going to let so him talk to you that way? Nothing <laughs> more than just a big. Oh, the little fleeting glances, oh my god. Oh, Monsieur Condé, you can't imagine what it's like not to hear your native tongue in four years. Well, hell, I can't imagine two weeks in Boston. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Django's like, this pony's got big eyes for Django. <laughs> well, shot it. Dr. Schultz, don't be so down on yourself. You are quite the. She just pointed out. Oh, who me, bitch? You know what I'm talking about. I don't know him. 
You don't know him. No. Know what? Yes, sir. This is gonna be trouble. You wouldn't lie to me now, would you? Hell no. Oh, is he so creepy and scary in this? Damn. These people are observant, dude. It's like she's surrounded by sharks. Yeah. I wouldn't pay no twelve thousand dollars for him. What would your price be? Nine thousand. If I wanted to sell Eskimo Joe for that, I could do so any day of the week. Any day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hype man. Yes. Off of twelve thousand dollars, that made me even consider it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. He's not going to be too happy with them. However, <laughs> that is a tremendous amount of money. There you go. Mm-hmm. I have a lawyer, and I would need my Mr. Tutter to draw up a legal contract before I'd feel comfortable exchanging that amount of money for flesh. Of course. Mm -hmm. I say splendid, Doctor. Splendid. You got yourself a deal. To Eskimo Joe or the Black Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Hercules. Black Hercules. Yeah. Black Hercules. He's so far so good. How you like serving at the big table in the big house, huh? Oh, God, no. Mm. The doctor here might be interested in seeing Hilti's peel back, seeing how they don't have many where he come from. The doctor show. Oh Are God. they even doing this on purpose or they're just getting extremely lucky? I don't know. Steven's right. You mm -hmm. might find this interesting. Oh, Hildy, yeah. go on, take off your dress. Show Dr. Schultz back here. Go on. Uh, Calvin. Jesus Christ, man. He is a man of medicine. I'm sure it would fascinate him yeah. to make him doing some pain. These are tough, Dr. Schultz, no doubt about it. Is he gonna be able to control himself now? <sighs> Calvin! Fine, 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 fine. After dinner then, Stephen. After dinner. During the brandies, gentlemen. Hmm? Yeah, that's the one thing that really gets to him. <sighs> I can't believe he didn't shoot anybody up. She oh, he's doing that shit he's on purpose. He's testing him. Yeah, he is. Just got you done up, come on. Oh, he got the confirmation he needed. Oh shit. Look at his smirk. Oh, I hate them so much. <sighs> what a scene, huh? I felt like they had control over everything and I'm it just all went to shit. Yeah. I said, you said you ain't know him. He's so observant. Mrs. Steven. Please hold it together, girl, please. <laughs> you stay right here. Oh, what is he going to do? Yeah, he's going to tell him. In that case, allow me to propose another proposition. This is the real deal he wanted to make. Put me in the library. I just can't understand why you won't come talk to these. You get fucked up around here, you blame me. Uh, fine, fine, friend Steven, uh, uh There you go. Yeah, he already mm. knows something is up. Yeah. You may clear the dinner service. You heard him call he was oh so observant and just put two and two together so quickly, man. He was about to make the real deal, which was yeah. to get her out of there. Right. Give them the observ... Oh, man. What Shit. is the matter? They were going to be able to walk out of this one, but now... They wants that girl. Steven, what the hell are you talking about? Huh? They playing your ass for fools, what I'm talking about. Yeah, he knows. Snake oil pitch about Mandingo's in. You wouldn't pay no never mind to no three hundred dollar, but that twelve thousand, that made you real friendly now, didn't it? He figured it all out. That's insane. Yep. Why they did the pitch the way they did it? If it had been a snake, it would have bit me. Goddamn time wasting sons of bitches. This is gonna be real bad. This is gonna be catastrophic. <laughs> I hope they're able to recognize something's up before Please. shit hits the fan. Before your exit, we were discussing the possibility of my purchase in Berlin. Ah, yes. This is going to be so obvious now. Yeah. I spent my whole life here, surrounded by black faces. Where is he going with this? I have a really bad feeling. I only had one question. Why don't they kill us? <laughs> He's asking a valid question. You would have the same three dimples in the same place as old Ben. Ooh. Oh, shit. Lay your palm flat on that tabletop. Damn. Pooch is going to let loose with both barrels that sawed off. 
Holy shit. Dude, that was like a jump scare. Mr. Mogi, would you be so kind as to collect the pistol hanging off these boys' hips here? Where were we? Oh man, now they have no weapons. Yeah. Ah yes. I do believe you were just getting ready to make me a proposition to Bob Hilda. Am I right? This is really uh -huh. bad, guys. How the hell are you gonna get out of this one? Bring it out, Hildy! Oh. The price is $12,000. You guys better have that cash somewhere. And I can choose to do with my property whatever I so desire. And if y'all think my price for this day... Uh. Oh, dude, what the f***, man? <laughs> oh, shit. oh, shit! Now! What's it gonna be, Doc? You guys gotta do something. I lift the hands off the tabletop in order to remove my billfold! Yes, you may. That will. Okay. Jesus. Holy shit, man. Exceptional beard and his unexceptional. <sighs> it was a pleasure doing business with y'all. My God. Join me in the parlor. We will be serving white cake. <laughs> wow, Leonardo Christ. DiCaprio, man. Holy what a scene. Shit. The tension was through the roof. He was terrifying. Good the, for him. The moment that he yelled there was like a, yeah. so startling, man. And like the way like he casually was just picking off pieces of glass from his hand. What a guy. Well, at least they got her back. Everybody's armed now. Everybody's tension is high. This was supposed to be much, yeah. much easier than it turned out to be. I'm just questioning if we should even trust this guy to begin with. Like, yeah, they got the money, but are they going to be able to leave this place? All right. I mean... Well done, Kathy. <laughs> Come on, bounty hunter. Think. Doc! Doc, you can't go in there. Uh, Steven, They ain't got no business going in there. Let it be. I mean, I can't believe they're still alive after they figured out they were trying to deceive them. Yeah, it's a miracle that he even let them buy her to begin with. You doubt he'd approve them? Yes, his approval would be a dubious proposition <laughs> at best. It's like you think. <laughs> what do you think, man? <laughs> that is her, her bill of sale, her ownership history, and of course, her, her freedom papers, doctor. Would you have ink and pen for me? Right over there on that little table. Thank you. Just enjoying his white cake. Yeah. I hope he has something else under his sleeve, man. I don't know. I feel like there's a subtle shift there. Brunhilde von Schaft. Consider yourself a free woman. Wow. Wow. What a moment. Let's go. One more moment. Oh my God. We're just out. Once a business deal has concluded that the two parties shake hands, so I'm afraid I must insist. That I shake your hand? Oh, then I'm afraid I must insist in the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't shake my hand. If I don't shake your hand, you're going to throw away $12,000? I don't think so. I, I do <laughs> think so. He is pride. If she tries to leave here before this in German shakes my hand, you cut her ass down. Just, just do it, man, and get done with it. It's not worth a death over pride, that's for sure. You really want me to shake your hand? I insist. What a f old man. <laughs> He's so repulsive. I got that feeling like... <gasps> oh! Yeah! That's your handshake right there. You could have gotten out of there alive. Damn, I love that gun. I f***ing love that gun. <laughs> oh, get out! <laughs> yeah. Get now what, man? Uh, okay. Move fast, quick draw. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Come Please, on. No. I couldn't resist. Please don't kill him, no! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn! Oh. Jesus! <laughs> 
single one of them. Oh, holy shit! Ooh, <laughs> hey, <dude>. let's go! <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> the other knee. Uh. Oof! Headshot! Oh no! Oh my god! What the? <laughs> <fuck? laughs> what the fuck is this movie, dude? <laughs> I like the way you die. Let's go, Ooh. Django. <laughs> This is the definition of shit hitting the fan hard. Holy dude, how many more people are there? They're all coming for him. Shit. No way. It's like 10 more people. Oh my god. Oh, you fire! Stop shooting, god damn it! How not a single bullet pierced through that and killed him? I don't know. He got lucky. We got your woman! Billy Crash here got his pistol upside. Eh? Oh my Bruh. god. We gonna blow this bitch's brains out! Believe yeah. that! He's got no other option, yeah. man. And it's Moonlight too. What now? What would they want from them? <sighs> Dude, the walls are like covered in blood and yeah. goo. Painted red. Oh, my God. oh shit. What a phenomenal shot, by the That's way. That's an amazing fucking shot. But he is in so much trouble. Cock a doodle doo. Ah, this. This prick. Probably pretty good while it lasted, huh? Oh no. Bruh. You better figure out a way to get out of there, man. <laughs> Time to say goodnight to them nuts, Black. <laughs> Home free. No! Oh my god! No, 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 no! Calm down now. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Saved by the bell. How disappointing. God fing lucky, man. Jesus. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> what the hell did they do to Hilda? Now, mind you, most of them ideas had to do with fucking with your phone cards. Clearly, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you snip a nuts, most of them bleed out. No about. <laughs> uh, more than most. So you've done it quite a few times. It looks like it, yeah. He knows. Hit you in the head with a hammer. Throw your ass down the hole. That will be the story of you, Django. I really want to see this guy get what he deserves, man. Dude, this is horrible. Oh my god. He ended Getting up sent right back. Probably not just where you started off, but it's worse. Worse. <laughs> Ricky Quentin. L little cameo here. I already miss Christoph. Me too. I said, how'd you like to make eleven thousand dollars? Eleven thousand five hundred, actually. The f are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't illegal. You can't steal it. You got to earn it, white boy. You got something to say, mate. You say it. <laughs> say it, mate. <laughs> Who the f is Smitty Bacall. Smitty Bacall is a leader of this murderous gang of stagecoach drivers. Ah. Uh. There's a $7,000 wanted dead or alive bounty on him. $1,500 for each of his three accomplices. And they're just sitting right there for you yeah. to take. What did these jokers do again? They killed innocent people. Stagecoach robbery. Innocent white people. <laughs> That's an important <laughs> distinction. In my pocket if you let me get it. It's gonna make it seem like it's them, huh? But them four men are still back there. They still want it. And that 11500 is up for grabs, and the last thing they'd expect is y'all riding back in there and getting it. That's definitely the last thing they would expect. That's very true. <laughs> and $500 of that 11500 now I'll point them out to you. It's real handy. What a shot, huh? The That's entire amazing. conversation. Just going around him. <gasps> that did end up saving him. Keeping the dead or alive thing. 
All right. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, my God, bro. German was acting like they were slavers, but they wasn't. Well, what were they? Barney Honest. Everything is lining yes. up exactly how he needs it to. You got yourself a deal, Blackie? You got yourself a deal, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> You're right for a black fella. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick on his feet. Very smart how he spin how he was spinning the whole situation. Frankie, why don't you take them sticks off that horse and stick him in a near cage? Whoa. Dude, what the man? I've just had the sauce fixed and they're perfect. Oh, that's good to know. Oh! <laughs> oh, he played them damn. so damn well. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking iconic, man. Jesus. Secret is going back for his girl. Wow. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. <laughs> I did not expect that, honestly. Yo, he's gonna ride bareback like that? That's crazy. What an insane journey, man. This is a freaking roller coaster. What a great look from that actor. Yay! Yeah. I can't see what's wrong with them goddamn. I was gonna, I was gonna say the dogs are barking a lot. Mm -hmm. He's already there, isn't he? Oh! Holy shit! Double Ooh, wielding. Oh my god! <laughs> he just shot his balls off. He totally did. Uh -huh. The whole trifecta was blown away. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The way he's just double wielding those pistols, man. Dude, it's so sick. He's a gunslinger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so impressed that he's riding that horse bareback. That's crazy difficult. Okay, so what now? What do we do? Gotta find your girl, man. Yeah. Aww. They did such a great job at making him so likable that he is so missed. Already. Yeah, he is sorely missed. This poor woman. The horror she's been through, man. Mm -hmm. It's just one after the other. Oh, so sick. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> Against all odds. Oh, this guy. Oh, that's great. You just see the silhouette. Yep. He's coming back with uh, some more. Mm-hmm. Oh, that beautiful show. Okay, beautiful voice. All right. Oh, that carnage. Oh, Y'all gonna be together with Calvin in the by and by. <laughs> Yo! Ooh, look at that outfit. Oh! <gasps> Last time I seen you, you had your hands mm -hmm. on my... Right? Payback. Oh, that must hurt like a mother. I don't even want to think about it, and I'm a girl. Uh. <laughs> all you black folks, I suggest you get away from all these white folks. Not you, Stephen. Oh, oh no. no, not you, Stephen. Not you. I said, tell Miss Laura goodbye. Because you ain't seeing her again. Yep. Bye, Miss Laura. <laughs> the way he was just it into the room. Steve, how you like my new duck? See, this motherfucker, he's a different kind of, that's a different kind of villain. He's gonna stand tall and proud for his death. Yeah. 
You said in 76 years on this plantation, you've seen all manner shit done to this. But I noticed. You didn't mention kneecap. <gasps> yeah, that's creative. It was right by one thing. I am that one 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, man, this is... Are you about to... Oh, please, Jesus, let me kill this... <laughs> the satisfaction. Yeah. That ain't gonna just kill you, man. No way. Oh, oh no the dynamite. Way. I hope you like fireworks. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> He's still talking. <laughs> He's talking, still talking shit. So funny. You already <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> My God. <laughs> he blew up the castle. I love it. He blew up the he castle. Did. He wasn't scared. It was worth it for her. Hey, you little troublemaker. Hey, big troublemaker. <laughs> yes, he is definitely the big T. Oh. Little couple of dressage moves here. You know what they're going to call you? The fastest gun in the South. Hell yeah. <laughs> he believed in you, man. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Holy oh, shit, man. man. <laughs> Ice. It's a freaking experience every single damn time, man. Every single time. Oh, wow. Honestly. Left no trace <laughs> no. Of, of what once stood there. Backhead. <laughs> Backhead number two. He's like, I can't see in these things. <laughs> oh, that scene was that fantastic. Was Man, look, I, I have to say, uh, out of all the directors that we've had the joy to, you know, experience and, and all of their storytelling and their technique and, and what they do here, I have to say Tarantino is, what is probably my favorite in this one very specific niche category, and that is the first time experience watching, mm. which is actually perfect for what we do here in, on the channel. Yeah. I mean, his films, his, his films are great, even if you do want to rewatch them, but mm -hmm. that first experience feels like we're strapping ourselves into an insane role roller coaster and I'm sure that all of you can recall watching this for the first time <laughs> what a freaking joy of a ride man like it, he always takes you on such an adventure and it's so well crafted so well paced it's almost a three hour long film and it just went by because it's it's so fun to watch he has a way with dialogue that just I have not seen many directors being able to or writers for that matter obviously I have not seen many writers be capable of just delivering dialogue in such a smooth way like it just comes across so naturally mm -hmm. allowing the characters to give off a lot of their personality based on the fact of how they're speaking mm -hmm. he utilizes dialogue in every single word and how these people say it as a tool to let you know who these people are which not a lot of directors do that and not a lot of writers are capable of that they they show you but you don't get that deeper sense you know he uses language in such a way where you get to know these people with every single word they're saying it's almost as if the words are an action other writers would utilize actions to show the audience who these people are you know right. you see the bad guy doing bad shit right quentin just uses language a lot of the times to let you know exactly who these people are and he does so in such a magnificent entertaining way and of course the way that he writes it is not only entertaining but he's always leveraging tension and pauses in mm. a way that i've not seen anybody else do and i mean that as the biggest compliment this guy's a fucking genius yeah and another thing that i really love and this is something that you see in all of his movies i love how he he writes strength into his characters because it's not just the same type of strength. The strength that each of his characters carry, they're very different, mm -hmm. right? You have someone like Christoph Waltz's character, right? He has a strength of his own that comes across in a different way than Django's does, right? And I love that we, with every single one of his characters, same like in Kill Bill, it always comes across in a different way, but they have such spine and they have sass, 
but it, it's still very different. There's there each character still is very much individually crafted. They don't feel like they're regurgitations of each other. Yeah, it's not a copy paste from exactly. something that worked before. Right, exactly. It's like this formula worked for this movie, so I'm just gonna use it again. It's more like, okay, how can I create a character that feels original, that feels new, and basically set them on this crazy journey where you know they have trials and tribulations and they go through some crazy ass shit, but they come out victorious. And that is always so, so satisfying to see. The the complexities that he manages to add to these characters. And he's so smart when he gathers his cast and crew. He knows how to pick his people. And you can tell when you watch his movies, you know what? Sometimes with certain movies, you get certain moments, even when the actor is very talented, you get that moment where you're like, "Mm, I feel like they could have used another take for that Mm. one. It's not always about the actor and their talent. Sometimes it's about the director or the studio and what is wanted, right? But with Quentin, it, it's perfectly tailored and you can tell that he is very precise and he's very specific, but like that specificity does not shackle the actors. It liberates them. It's a way for them to really explore and go as far as they possibly can. And that is always, it always pays off and it's always just, it, like you said, it's a thrill. It's like a thrill ride. I couldn't agree more. I think I used that analogy while watching one of Quentin's films where I said all of his cast and crew members are like his instruments and he just goes wild and starts playing jazz. Even though he is very precise, like you mentioned, the actors are so loose. I mean, can we talk about Leo DiCaprio's performance here? He (laughs) was so despicable. Yes. And you know, that's not his his norm. You know, he tends to play the leading man and whatnot. So seeing him in a role that's a bit different was spectacular. He owned every scene he was in. And I mean, come on, we got to see Jamie Foxx, Christoph Waltz and Leo in the same room going back and forth. My God, I I don't think I've seen so many magnetic scenes in one and in the same film. Yeah, and they each got to shine. They all they of them each got, got their to moment shine. to shine, and that's that's amazing, man. Christoph killed it again. Again, he was of probably course. one of my favorite, you know, elements in this film, his performance, and, and so different from Inglorious Bastards, like yes. the, complete, <laughs> the complete opposite. He was able to bring in this tenderness to him and, and mm-hmm. very much all of the heroic qualities, even though he is a bounty hunter doing horrible things. You could see that he was still, he still felt bad and had a soul, you know, when he saw those slaves and what they had to go through and, and he wanted to do, you know, you could see some, some of those moments, he really wanted to do something about it. And it's yeah. just. He had to keep his eye on, on you know, the, the objective here. Right. Yeah. And I saw I love those moments of tension where it was not about what was happening to the slaves in that particular moment, even though that was horrible. It was about seeing the will that these two men had watching that and, and knowing that maybe they could do something about it, but it was just not the right time. And they had to, you know, they had to grit their teeth and just hold on a little bit longer. Amazing layered performances. Amazing. So when he finally lets loose and Django is unchained, (laughs) that's the moment where I, I mean, that is the Quentin Tarantino third act fucking mayhem that I expect from this guy. It's just so satisfying to see him let loose because he's been not just, you know, of course he's, he was a slave. He was already oppressed. All these emotions had to be repressed. He's finally a free man, but now he's obviously under the command of Schultz or, or at least under his wing. And he's trying to abide by some of the rules, even though he kind of fails in the beginning and just offs all three of those guys before he even has a say, but you could see that he's trying to do better and he's trying to get his gal out of there. That is his priority. So when he finally gets free reign to do it, man, what a sequence. It was absolutely insane. And and the way that the movie toys around with, you know, the real horror that can be losing your freedom. That's like the, yeah. the real enemy, right? Being yeah. in shackles and, and not having a say. Quentin really made you feel like it was a horror film. Those yeah. scenes felt tense because the underlying, you know, message and meaning and, 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 and the weight of what this could mean. If he does get caught and we saw that you know during the third act he did get caught and my soul just fell to the ground i couldn't believe it i'm like oh my god after all of this having a taste of freedom being so good at what you do and you got caught because of this one guy it just really (laughs) makes your blood boil because you know (laughs) how you know how close they were the plan was working and such an intricate way of you know they could have just done it so simple just go and buy the girl right and just pretend but i love that they went the long way so that we had such an incredible sequence play out because boy oh boy it was worth every single minute of it 
It really was. And it's, you know, the way that they utilized Samuel L. Jackson in this. <laughs> I've never seen him play a part like this before. And it was so wonder, but also hate inducing all at the same time where you're just you're just marveling at how how unbelievably talented he is as well. And he just makes your skin crawl in a different kind of way. And it was just the entire structure of everything. It just feels like, you know, when you have a character like that on top of everything that's going on, with the slavery and everything you would not expect another slave essentially he he's dressed as a butler and he can chat more casually with his master shall we say he's also not free but then you see him acting the way that he does and it's like oh my god it adds a whole other level of intricacy to the tension that is constantly being built because you feel like once we started getting into act two, right, the, the you, we started feeling the tension coming up. Like you had that cool montage, you know, these two, you know, our dynamic duo, you see them killing a whole bunch of people and making a whole bunch of money and bonding and creating um, a companionship, a friendship. And then you eventually get to a point where you're like, something is going to go wrong. At some point, the, it can't be all like this, just gunslinger, bad assery and it's all going too well <laughs> it's going too yeah. well that tension being able to build that so consistently is also not just the writing that's where everything comes in it's the soundtrack it's the editing and just the general pacing of this this movie flew by if you told me that this was almost a three hour long movie i would never believe you every scene was there for a purpose there was not a single moment where i'm like this really didn't need to be here or this could have been trimmed it's all there for a reason it's insane that we've seen shorter films where we do feel like that, you know, there is a bit of a pacing issue or you could have trimmed 10 minutes here, you know, five minutes there. You didn't mm -hmm. need this piece of dialogue. And with Quentin, everything seems to have a reason to be there. You know, the story that uh, Christoph Waltz, when, when, you know, they sit down and then he's telling him about the, mm -hmm. the legends, right? That means something to him because that's inspiring his character to be like, oh, I could be that guy. Right. In fact, mm -hmm. I, I already share so many things in common with this guy. <laughs> Maybe I am this guy, right? And that's kind of like the little yeah. spark that he needs. Every single moment there is put in place to add depth to the characters. He knows exactly what he's doing. And, um, you know, he's the guy that just delivers a script and the script is ready. You yeah. don't have to do anything to the script. Just do it yeah. the way he gave it to you because it's a fucking masterpiece. A hundred percent. Don't change a single thing. What a joy to watch. I mean, yeah. the camera work absolutely out of this world. I love how some of these stills look like the photography in it is just yeah. beautiful. When the camera is still, the way it's framed is it's something that I really appreciate is symmetry. He's able to do it in such a way where he always frames his characters. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is basic filmmaking. When you want to make a character seem more powerful, you essentially lower the camera a little bit to make him look more imposing. You know, yeah. he seems a little bit taller and, you know, covers more of the frame. The way this guy was changing his framing and the power dynamic when Christoph <laughs> Waltz and Jamie Foxx's character in the dinner scene when they had control mm -hmm. and Leo was kind of like a little bit further away, you know, kind of like the camera was set in the middle of the table. And then when shit goes south and it's, you know, it's Leonardo DiCaprio's <laughs> moment to shine and he has full control. He takes up the entire frame. He was more eccentric. And, and just the way that they utilized every single tool they had at their disposal to, to inform the audience of what's going on. That is the, the impressive element of their filmmaking because they, they don't there, there's nothing here to spare everything they're utilizing. They're utilizing utilizing to perfection and it's honestly uh, such a joy to not just watch but study why they did what they did because everything has been studied to precision another example actually because you mentioned the framing is that you see a switch in power dynamic again when they're having the white cake and leonardo dicaprio is sitting inside in like a i'm assuming it's like an office or a parlor library whatever christoph waltz has his back facing to him which already is a very vulnerable position to be in right so the fact that he can do that and just look <laughs> at the books and think about you know what dumas would think about that horrible thing that happened with the slave you start feeling that something's up and leonardo DiCaprio he's sitting down and Christoph Waltz is standing up mm. and then that's when I'm like oh okay the whole English vibes the, yes I'm, I'm getting some more Landa vibes again where <laughs> he's he's asking certain questions but they're meant to lead you in a direction and then you see the subtle shift in acting in Leonardo DiCaprio as well where he's he's a little uncomfortable he starts shifting mm. in his seat you know he's not he doesn't feel like the big honcho anymore he knows that something has shifted. Matter of fact, you have people pointing guns at everybody, but in that moment, it feels like it's just two of them alone. Yes. You know, masterfully done. I think this so is a, such a great masterclass uh, in acting, directing, writing. I mean, 
Yeah. I, I cannot stress how much I enjoyed this movie. Yes. So thank you guys for suggesting these because, yeah. man, I, I've been loving Quentin. Well, now that we added this one to the list, it's going to be really, really hard to start ranking which Quentin Tarantino film is my favorite, man. I might, you know, go back and rewatch Kill Bill and then make my assessment because it's been a minute. Yeah. But man, I've I've had a blast with these, the, the, you know, everything about him, all the elements that we discussed here are something to really, really appreciate. And I cannot wait to see what he does next. Thank you guys so much for joining us in this absolutely insane adventure. We hope that you enjoyed and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.